Hey Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play John Schaefer's At The Gates. So where we left off, we had got our sort of basic economy going and we're, uh, we're working on trying to get a woodworks up so that we can produce a lot of wood to sell on the caravan so that we can purchase other things that we might need. So right now we're going to uh, just produce gold. I do have something I could use these guys for. Um, I'm not really sure what I could use them for at the moment. Um, I'm trying to think. What could I use them for? Well, I could actually do with a lore keeper right now uh, in order to produce a little bit more science, a bit more knowledge. So I think I will train these guys in the, uh, the discovery discipline. They don't have any negative. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. They can't actually fit in the discovery discipline. So I won't do that. I'll go back to researching better loggers. And we'll just leave it at that. And you can see, since we are slightly over uh, our normal food cap, uh, I don't mind being just point getting this little bit over because we are paying for the upkeep of all of our clans. So I think we'll just let that continue. We're going to put you guys over into the settlement. And we're going to retrain you as loggers. I believe that's the right clan, correct? Yes. So I would like some cloth right now. I'm going to get you guys to encamp for a turn. You guys are making your way forward to attack this barb camp and we'll finish this turn. It's probably going to get a little bit snowy now. And we will have to encamp for a turn. So here's our logger. We're going to have to do something interesting here. We're actually going to have to pack up our settlement because you can't build buildings outside of the range of your uh, borders. So we have to pack them up and bring them, uh, bring my settlement a little bit closer so that we can build this woodworks. And I'll kind of show you the settlement mechanics there in a moment. So let's move this down here. So now that this is inside our supply area, we'll be able to build a building there. Let's attack. We have 5.8 defense power compared to their 4.5. Uh, that's thanks to our 25% attack modification on these guys, which is why they're a soldier. We didn't quite manage to break them. We did a lot of morale damage, though. Uh, let's get you over here onto this supplied tile so that we can keep exploring and don't have to sit still for a turn. And we're going to research lore keepers now. Although there are other options. Aren't there? We could get priests. They produce knowledge, but they do require oil and cloth, which is quite expensive. We could go for priests instead. In fact, let's go for priests instead. We'll have to get oil and cloth from the uh, caravan when it comes. Uh, we're not going to unpack the settlement this turn. We can do that next turn. Now, while the settlement is packed up, you can't train anybody. You can still research, but you can't train anybody in any professions, which is uh, not super duper. But we will uh, unpack here for a couple of turns. We'll move you there and we'll build a woodworks next turn. We'll start the building of it. We're going to encamp for a turn on these guys so they recover some morale and they don't take damage from being out of supply. Our settlement is idle. So I want to retrain these guys as a blacksmith because they want to uh, have a settled profession and that'll make them happier and they'll produce tools more uh, efficiently for me. And I can also upgrade these guys once they start producing some more tools for me. Clan Ball. They want to get inside the settlement and find a warm place. So I'm going to send them over there because... Uh, that'll actually, by, by fulfilling the desires of your clans, they produce more resources. Even if it means uh, a short-term loss of iron, which is fine. We're going to get started on a woodworks here. So the difference between a logging camp, a logging camp and a woodworks are functionally identical, except for a few things. Uh, the logging camp basically harvests resources from all the adjacent forests at a rate of one per turn. So essentially, uh, it's a little bit more sustainable 
than the wood collector but the woodworks is if you build is basically if you build a logging camp out of stone it won't deplete the forest so this will become a permanent structure in our empire and we can also sort of build tall by assigning more woodworkers to this place but we're going to build a woodworks that'll take two turns and 20 stone blocks uh we're going to attack again now that we have uh, a little bit more of a combat advantage in, a, in terms of a ratio. We are not going to pillage this again because we want to... Well, let me see. I could, in theory, pillage it. They have almost no combat strength, so I think it's actually fine to just pillage this here. Let's get up over here into the tile with supply. We have a settlement that is idle. We have our toolmakers. This guy, I think I want to train him in honor. So we'll get a few levels of honor into him so we can turn... Oh, wait. Do priests have to be noble? No, priests don't have to be noble. You see this little symbol here? That means your clan uh, doing this job has to be a noble clan. And um, we'll talk a little bit more about no uh, noble clans when it becomes a, uh, a more relevant thing. <clears throat> You're making your way back. I'm going to get you guys to encamp this turn now. Clans are idle. Let's do a little bit of exploration. End here so you have supply. And we could increase our clan limit again now that we have a bit of cloth. And I think I will do that so we can go up to 24 clans. And we're going to train this guy in discipline. We wanted to get him to level 5 discipline and then we can go back to producing... Um, stuff i think i i think i could retrain my wood bundler pretty soon as a different class but for now since i still have a, a wood gatherer out there i think it's perfectly fine so the woodworks is now finished and uh, now it's producing plus eight uh 0.75 timber and that's mainly down to uh, a few different things what we can do here is we can actually upgrade this now with the 10 tools that we have in stockpile and um, now we're producing 12.5 timber per turn and this is a really nice building because it's never going to deplete these forests and it's just going to keep producing uh, resources for us. And it also uh, projects an area of influence that acts as a supply zone for our units. Let's go ahead and take these guys out to get the extra sword off of them. You get a sword when you kill a barbarian. And uh, you get a little bit of score too. So these guys uh, are probably a good candidate to be retrained as something. They do fit better into the crafting. In fact, I probably should have switched these guys to a different profession, but it's probably fine. I could create another woodworks uh, somewhere, or I could just have these guys go gather wood for me um, in sort of outside my territory. Let's put these guys inside the settlement, and we will re... Ah, and they just want to be inside the settlement for a turn to get a benefit. So it looks like we found another productive clan who is loyal and efficient. So they never have desires. They never commit crime. Uh, so these guys are settled, productive. So they're settled and pros, which means we'll probably want to use them in something. Um, I still need to get a farm online, and that'll probably be my next stone building. So what I'll probably do is get these guys trained as a gatherer in a turn and send them out to go identify this wheat deposit that we will use as uh, our farm. So I'm going to get you guys to encamp so you don't take damage. Clan Ball is now happy, so now they're more productive. And we can send them back out to go... Uh, well, they're immobilized, so I'll just get you guys to skip your turn. And the gatherer is immobilized as well, so I'll get them to skip their turn. Ah, they offer tribute. Cool. We'll explore up here. Looks like there's another barb camp up here that we need to take care of. We don't quite have the combat power for that. We'll need to uh, do some stuff there. You'll get you to skip your turn. And that's that. We don't really have something we can train somebody in. These guys do want to become uh, my my honor guys want them to become priests basically and we're heading into spring the caravan will be here soon 
and the tiles have a little bit more supply to play around with i'll get you guys i wanted to go harvest these forests over here so i'll send them out now sending out your dudes on their own can be a little bit dangerous because they can get killed fairly easily actually but we'll go harvest that iron deposit and let's go park you over here and i might get you guys to skip a turn now my archers are probably not strong enough to take these guys on um so we'll have to bring them back and get them healed up or upgraded so we'll start making their way back home uh we have almost unlocked priests let's just produce a little bit more treasure so that we can have a better chance of getting what we need from the um, caravan when it arrives and we could if we wanted to delete this since we we have the woodworks here now uh, we're producing 12.5 wood per turn which is quite a lot i must say all right let's head over here and start identifying that deposit we have this guy you're going to go harvest iron for me and i'm going to get you to head back this way to keep exploring i want to head you over here get you up into my territory so you can get healed up when we buy the stuff we need and we'll just produce treasure for another turn just so we have a little bit more gold for when the caravan arrives so here's the caravan we need oil so let's sell off this timber and let's buy a little bit of coal and let's sell off let's buy a few weapons since they're actually quite cheap right now we'll go up to 40 weapons so we can train some spearmen let's see here um i don't need alcohol what i need is oil i need all 10 of those in fact i kind of regret buying this many so i might sell back down to 20 just so i can get this oil so to make priests we need oil and cloth and we have the 10 oil that we need so we won't be able to do heals until the next caravan and we get the oil we need from that other caravan what we might do here is upgrade this caravan again just so we can more reliably uh, get more oil to keep healing stuff it's kind of an expensive thing to do but it's fine we could alternatively sell some uh, stone blocks like we have we have an excess right now so I might sell down to this number. We'll sell these horses because we don't re need them right now. We'll go up to 10 parchment. And let's see, what do we need to ennoble clans again? Because I would like to start ennoble a clan or two. It's fine cloth and armor. And I think fine cloth's a little bit out of my price range right now. Let's see. Yeah, it would cost me 180 gold. So we'll wait. But the next caravan should start having fine cloth pretty regularly. And I want you to identify that deposit so that we can build a farm there. You're going to encamp. You're going to encamp. And you're going to go here and forage for me. Just really, we really just want that wood to, uh, to sell. I'm going to get you to wait there. I'm going to turn you into priests next turn because I have the resources, I have the oil, and I have the cloth. And having priests will mean we can produce a lot more knowledge, which we can uh, use to research more and better technology. So these guys are going to become priests. There we go. Clans are idle. You could probably take these guys on, but it would be tough. Um... I'm just going to have you guys hang out. I'm going to get you to forage. You're going to upset these guys for a turn, but that's fine since they're only they're not producing anything right now. I think it would be good to maybe get some spearmen. Um, but I think we really need to unlock farmers for when we identify this deposit. Because depending on what it is, we'll, we'll almost certainly be settling a farmer on it. As long as it's a food resource. Oh, that's pretty important. Get our food production going. Alright, we are losing some iron. We probably should have bought some. Because these guys aren't super productive. But let's send you up this way. 
clans are idle, your feud slash crime. I'm just going to get these guys to dig in. Gives them the defensive bonuses. And these guys are productive, so I need to kind of make a decision about what I want to do with them. We kind of lack for good food production in the very, very nearby areas. We have some food down here, potentially. We have a little bit of berries and stuff, and a lot of our food is going to be coming from over here if we can get there. So I might actually pack up my settlement and start moving that way, since I'm not training a clan. But there we have the we can we can research things really really quickly now. Um, I think it might be also a good idea to pick up miners. Do I want to move away from this? I could re I could fortify this with weapons, which would increase its control range and bring some of this stuff inside my range. So I think I will fortify this with five weapons. I'd like to get a weapon. Um, a weapon maker actually so I might go ahead and get miners build an iron mine here and then get a weapon smith so yeah I think I might turn these guys into a miner this way to turn you're going to explore this way we'll finish the turn let's see I don't really have the iron income to support a uh, thingy yet do I we have dutiful and boisterous which means they produce more fame but they do engage in feuds So I'll make these guys. Since I don't have a, I don't have a way to stop them from making feuds. I'll just call them feuds. So they have a feud thingy, and I want to make that red, so I know they're supposed to be in that profession. I don't want these guys getting into feuds. I think it would be really, really bad. Uh, I think I'm. Ooh, what's this? A uh, large grove of fruit trees. So we're going to unpack here. We're going to send this lady into the settlement and we're going to retrain them as a farmer and immediately put an orchard down here. Do you head up here to this supply tile? And I'd like to get weaponsmiths. So I'm just going to unlock it for now. Alternatively, I could start getting... Um, What's the next tier of Feast Master? It's Master of Ceremony, but I actually need the clan to be uh, ennobled. So I'll have to get uh, production of oil at the very least. <clears throat> oh, I don't want to research that yet. Uh, let's see. We don't have any good options for livestock, so I'm kind of ignoring livestock for right now. We could get... Engineers. Engineers are good to actually pick up pretty early uh, for my strategy because it's a lot of our production is going to be based on stone buildings and engineers increase the production of your stone buildings. But you can see how our borders are kind of shifting around as we move our dudes around the map, which is pretty interesting. You get a bit of exploration over there. Uh, this farmer here. We're going to create a fruit plantation. Now, much like the um, the sort of woodworks thing, the orchard is the sort of a temporary wooden building that still depletes the resource that it's placed on, but it depletes it much slower and it has a higher production rate than just like hand gathering. You can see here, this late this uh, this guy is producing like three fruit uh, three fruit base from a grove of trees whereas if we build a orchard we get four fruit but we can go straight to the fruit pl fruit plantation which basically means that this never depletes which is really really great 
and we could potentially assign a um an apprentice to this to supply us with more food now the downside is i don't think do fruit plantations produce during the winter let me have a look uh there's a way to select this I think I don't think it can be I don't think it goes cold so let's get these guys trained as an archer so that we can send them up to the north and basically just get them out of the settlement so the probability that they engage in a feud is lower is the logic there so we have a bunch of wood to sell once again and we have another archer that we can send oh, let's see there you go uh, right, I could get some fine cloth. Let's sell off. Ooh, stone blocks are worth a lot right now. Do I have plans to build another building? I'd like to build a mine in the near future, but not right now since I'm still foraging for my resources. So I think I'm okay with selling off my stone blocks for a really high price. Let's sell off our wood. Uh, we are going to want to get a little bit of excess coal because we don't quite have as or a little bit of excess uh, iron because we don't quite have as much as we'd like um what we need right now is we definitely want oil well let's see we need fine cloth and armor so that we can ennoble our feast masters who will then become um Masters of Ceremony, who will provide plus 40 fame per turn, whereas the Feast Master provides uh, 10 fame per, ter per turn. And you can you can upgrade these guys, but, I, you know, it's probably worth it to upgrade them. But I, I like to try to get to the higher tier stuff uh, sooner rather than later. Oh, we need 30. We need 30 oil for that. So it might not be this year that we get that, but we can get the... We can get the stuff to a noble. I could maybe sell a little bit of tools to make sure that we can get the 15 oil here. And that'll get us halfway to where we need to be. Now, priests, now master of the ceremony require another 10 fine cloths. So we're going to need another 10 fine cloths. So we need, we need a decent bit of money to finish this off. All right, we've expended these berries. So let's go ahead and get down here to get these berries. Keep exploring with these guys. We've kind of explored the area around us. I just want to go check out over here. Uh, the settlement is idle. I still have this really productive guy that's um, settled. I could make him an iron. I could make him an iron producer and get him over here. Or get him producing stone. Since right now we're producing stone from coal. Or I could turn him into a uh, coal maker. And that way we can stick with brick makers. Who I think are a little bit easier to upgrade than block cutters because they use boards instead of steel tools. So yeah, we might we might make a coal maker here. Let's get a coal maker. And we'll start training you in uh, metalworking. I like to have a metalworking heavy sort of economy i don't know i just feel like it it kind of leads you into the wind condition i feel a little bit better than other things so there's our fruit plantation we're going to fortify this as well so that we have a little bit better border extension although do we need to yeah we'll fortify this just so we have a little bit better border extension so we have more tiles that our units can be supplied upon um so right now it's producing five fruit we will want to upgrade these um, when we can. I think the upgrades to farmers is just tools, which we have a decent amount of. So level two upgrade is boards. Level one upgrade is tools. So yeah, I def definitely want to get those tools online if I can. Let's get you guys to encamp because you're out of supply. And I think I'm going to preemptively ennoble these guys. And what ennobling does is it permanently increases their mood by plus one. And it gives you the ability to assign plus five levels in any discipline. So now these guys are maxed out at level 10. So they can become any honor class instantaneously without any training time. So these guys are really, really good. Really, really powerful. 
Uh, what are you guys again? You're producing knowledge, right. Which could be potentially for clerics. Although, if I remember correctly, one of the, I think the purple ones are the best for knowledge generation. No, they're all about the same. We definitely want to get the patron, though. Patrons are really, really good. They generate a lot of fame. Knights are really powerful, but they're a very late game thing. Uh, right. Now, one, one downside of this sort of area we're in is we don't really have good trading posts. We'd have to build a trading post down here and down here, which are quite far away from where we're currently operating out of. So a lot of our gold is coming from selling things, which is slightly less reliable. Um, these guys want to be trained again. We've almost got coal makers. We'll get it next turn. And then we can uh, live, basically convert wood into coal, which is quite handy. We'll take you three turns, so we'll level you up again. And I'd like to get an upgrade for farmers so that I can produce more food. You guys are going to encamp for a turn. And you're going to head down here to the southeast to explore. And we'll finish this turn. We go down here to this tile with supply. We gained some gold from Rome, which is nice. Although I'm not sure. I think that might be bugged because I didn't actually get the update. You go here, and you should actually be able to kill that pretty easily. Uh, now you guys can become coal makers. So this is going to be a way to turn timber into coal, which means we don't need this coal miner anymore, and we can maybe switch him over to a more productive thing, like uh, iron production. We can build an iron mine over here. We'll leave him here for now, because we can still sell the resources that he's digging up. Um, so I would like to be able to produce ale, and I'd like to be able to produce oil. So we have to get our hands on some flax. So what I might do is I actually might have this lady go explore some of these deposits. Or I might train someone to do that. Is it too early for a surveyor? It's probably about the right time. But I, I do still need to produce more food right now. Because my people are eating a lot of food. Um... But yeah, I'd like to have access to oil pressers, if I could, so that I can make oil out of olives and flax. I'd like to find some flax, that would be quite helpful. Some idle clans up here. I'm going to move you in here, onto this supply tile, because I don't want to encamp, because there's a, there's a barb here looking that he might get aggressive. And encamping means we'll take uh, more damage. Okay, so I don't really have any changes I want to make here. I could potentially upgrade these guys into a priest right now. Oh, it's only 10. Sorry. Masters of Ceremony is what I want to do, right? Yeah, I want to upgrade my Feast Masters into Masters of Ceremony. But we'll just grab the oil pressers. And we'll produce some treasure for a while. And now we have a food surplus, so... Where at the very least we're not losing food, which is, is pretty nice. These guys are paranoid and lazy. So they are feuders. So I want to have them out on their own. Um, what I might do is I might just quickly turn them into gatherers. So I can go explore those other resources. So let's get them trained in agriculture. We could go attack these guys before it goes to winter. We just about pushed them off. We took a decent amount of damage, but we completely crippled their attack power. Ah, it looks like we found some honey, so we can use that to make beer, which is useful. Uh, let's go ahead and get Masters of Ceremony uh, unlocked. 
because that is something I'm working towards. I need some fine cloth and some more oil. Hopefully the caravan has fine cloth and oil and I have enough resources to sell for those. All uh, right, fine cloth here. I need to sell. Let's get that fine cloth and I want that 15 oil as well. So now that I'm producing a lot of coal, I feel safe selling that. I need a little bit more money. So I think I'll sell some tools. Um, buy that oil. So now I can train mast as a ceremony. Are there any other resources that I really lack? Um, not right now. Not right now. I might buy a little bit of food. For the winter. And then just leave it at that. Uh, let's go talk to our farmers. Did I ever upgrade you? No. So now you're producing seven fruit per turn. Which is a little bit more food. Which means we're feeling a little bit more secure. Uh, these guys are much weaker now. That we have softened them up. And basically cut into their defensive bonus. So let's go ahead and attack them again. We're, we're pretty weakened too. We've lost a decent amount of our uh, combat power. But we should still be able to win this pretty easily. And uh, let's have a look. Their combat power is so low that we can get away with pillaging. Alright, so we've basically explored everything we need to explore around here. So I might turn these guys into surveyors. So that'll be something I do when they get back to my territory. Ugh, let's train them in agriculture. I don't want to spend a thing. I might just train them in agriculture as a, as a reaper. So I can... I don't know if that affects what the plants will most likely be, but... Maybe it'll make it more likely that it'll be flax that we're that we're finding out there. All right, clans are idle here. Let's go ahead and wipe these guys out to get the little bit of uh, score and stuff off them. There we go, and we've got some idle clans. You're making your way back. You're going to encamp for a turn, and we'll finish here. Uh, you guys can do a little bit of exploration. Just may as well check what's out in the water. You can see the map is quite large and uh, we've only revealed a very small amount of it. Get you guys back inside my territory. You go forage for wood for me. Because really, really they're just foraging for wood so I can sell the wood. These guys have only one move point which hurts. Um... One more turn until I can get Masters of Ceremony. I'll produce treasure for a turn. We're about to run out of uh, the meat production because these herds are going to go down. Uh, my fruit plantation doesn't produce during the winter, which kind of sucks. Here's my explorer. He wants to make it home to be turned into a surveyor. Let's research the surveyor class. Uh, basically, the surveyor is an explorer who can't defend himself, but he can uh, reveal um, resource deposits, which is handy. Okay, settlement is idle. You want to become a master of ceremonies because that will produce... Right now, you're producing 10 fame per turn, I think. And this will basically quadruple the amount of fame per turn you generate, which means we'll get clans faster, uh, four times faster. Well, it's slightly less than four times faster because we have a base production of four. So, you know, qu quite a bit faster. Um, I think I'm going to spend the 20 cloth here. Since I'm getting pretty close to my clan limit, so we can keep growing. But I think we're off to a pretty good start here now. We're sort of heading into our late, late early game. We've got our two core, um, we've got two of our core buildings up. We'd like to get these mines up now. For these here so that we have extra resources that we can sell uh, i'd also like to get somebody who's producing boards from our wood as well because uh, a lot of our upgrades are locked behind boards um, but yeah you can see uh, our economy is starting to develop our, our you know the range at which we sort of extend our, our borders is becoming larger and we've still got plenty of territory that we can expand into but uh, i'll call that the end of the episode here 
and uh, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.